What's up, everybody? My name is Kate, also known as Hello, I am Kate, and today we're going to be playing some Grounded. Hello, my name is David, and I'm a professional entomologist. For the past 20 years, I've been dedicating my life to helping farmers to manage agricultural pests. I've always been fascinated with perspectives, and imagine you're the size of an insect, or maybe something that you're used to using as a friend is now a formidable enemy. These relationships are something I'm interested in looking at eye to eye with the insects that, uh, that I spend my life working with. This game, the beta, came out around two years ago, and that's actually when I started playing. So I first heard about it in the Xbox Showcase, and I was like, whoa, this game looks incredible. Are you kidding? Like, just the thought of just being a tiny little dude in the backyard, like, it's just so fun, and nothing like this has really been done, and I'm, I love it. Yeah, I'm absolutely excited to get into this game to actually see what the world looks like from an insect's perspective and to see how you navigate that world. Oh, I'm trying to think of a good bug pun for this. Let's get into this. I can't wait. Okay, you ready to get into some grounded? I am ready. Let's okay. do it. The basic premise of the game, you find yourself shrunk in a yard. You wake up, you're trying to get back to normal size. There are a bunch of little quests along the way. That's basically how we got here. We still have like a lot of quests that we need to do to kind of figure that out, not to like humble brag, but like my house is so cute and small and look <laughs> at it. Okay, I have a nice little clover roof and we even have a dew collector that collects water. So hydration is super important in this game because you know, if you don't drink or eat, you die. Th that's it. That works. That's yeah, it. I'll tell you, I'd be pretty impressed. If my kids got lost in the lawn and made that house and got food and stuff that way, I'd, I'd be very impressed with them. There's a bunch of bugs around here too. Is that yeah, a, is that a, bugs. Is that a... That looks like a little aphid, isn't it? I think it is an aphid. Oh okay. yeah. Look at, it's so cute. Yeah, aphids are really common in my world. Are they? Yeah, I, I work in agriculture. Aphids are one of those really common pests. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're like pests, pests, because in this game, they're just so stinking cute and they just kind of look at you and go, what? And then run away. Yeah, no, in the real world, they don't do that. Aphids have a mouth part that's like a straw. They stick it in the plant and they suck the plant juices out. They can spread diseases to the plants. Of course, if you want to eat a, a salad with lettuce, you know, the last thing you want is a bunch of aphids on your lettuce. Yeah, no, so, yeah, that's so my lettuce, spend, I'm not sharing. Yeah, farmers spend a lot of time trying to make sure that there's no aphids in their fields. What about ants? Are they are they this cute? Ants are cute, but they're not usually our friends. <laughs> you know, one of the issues with ants is that they protect pests from beneficial insects. Oh, interesting. So in, in the field, there's a lot of pests that feed on the plants, and there's good bugs that try to kill those bad bugs. But what happens is the ants come along mm -hmm. and they protect them, Ooh. and they make sure that those good bugs can't kill the bad bugs. So you get lots and lots of bad bugs. Oh, we got some mites. I hate these. You see how the mites just attacked me, but the aphid and the ant didn't? Yeah, they kind of ran away. Yeah, so both of them are like super friendly until you attack them, and then once you attack them, it's like, okay. but ants will actually fight back and they'll go get their ant buddies to fight you back. Is that like that in real life? Well, that's how ants work. You know, if you ever find one ant, mm -hmm. trust me, there's more. There's usually hundreds or to thousands of them. Mites are a little different. Uh, mites can be both good and bad. Mm -hmm. You know, they're eating fungi and things down the soil. Uh, but some of them actually feed on plants. It can cause problems. And then there's actually good mites that feed on bad mites. We call those phytoceids. Uh, predatory mites. And so in farmers' fields, we actually go out and release hundreds of thousands of good mites so that they eat up all the bad mites. So you promote mite cannibalism? We absolutely <laughs> promote, well, cannibalism would be eat your own, but if it's a good mite eating a bad mite, we don't call it cannibalism, but we call that biological control. Oh. And that is something we do every day. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if you fare better than all me. Right. Yeah, go that way. It's gonna be a fun time and not at all dangerous. Okay, yes, in through there. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is definitely a spider. <laughs> Actually, if you press down your right thumbstick, you can crouch walk in there. Ooh. And when they sleep, they snore, and it's so cute. You hear them snoring? Them. I can hear them snoring. <laughs> yeah, so wolf spiders are actually really neat, because most spiders, you think of a big web, right? Yeah. They catch stuff in their web. The wolf spiders are a little different. They're actually predators. So most of their time is running around and trying to find food. But because of that, they don't have a real nest. Yeah. Which means if they got babies, they got to take them with them. And so if you find a mother wolf spider, oftentimes there'll be like a hundred little teeny baby spiderlings on her abdomen that go everywhere with her. That is horrifying and, so, and adorable. Yeah, it's really, really <laughs> cool. I mean, that's, that's the best mother, mother award for the year, right? Whoa. You don't have a torch? Yeah, it's right there. Okay, expert gamer. All right, Whoa. got it. Yes, 
You want to just go poke one, see what happens? Yeah, I don't think I want to poke it too hard, but where are you, spider? Uh, that looks like a spider. Yeah, that does look like a wolf spider. You can tell by the number of eyes it has. Oh, really? So different spiders, you can tell them apart by the number of eyes and the orientation on the head. So you see the two big ones in the middle, yeah. a couple little ones and some on the side, the hairs that it's got, those stripes on the thorax there. It and really this, looks like a wolf. And this is really, really classic of a, a wolf spider abdomen. Obviously, you don't see any babies on her, so it's either a male or a female without any babies. <gasps> but, run, oh, time run, to run. run. Okay, run, here we go, run, here we go. Run, 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 run. Get out of there. That's oh, the no, other no, one, that's the other one. one. Okay, wait, I Yes, yes, that's, that's okay, my street. You see the exit? Oh, 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 and I didn't run fast enough. <laughs> Maybe they okay. were just protecting their kids, you don't know. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have picked a fight with them. Ooh, we have an old ant hill. You want to check that out? I love ants. Let's go ahead that direction. Yeah. That'd be fun. If you look at my armor, I have a nice little ant helmet and a clover poncho. Ant armor, is that kind of camouflage? So that would actually make sense to me. Yeah. Um, some ants, like Argentine ants, they're all friends. I don't think that, I'm, that would I'm, not, I'm, that's not, not I'm not. I'm not. Ant. I'm not. So the red soldier ants are the aggressive ones. Okay. Versus the worker ants are the super cute, like, little puppy dog ones that walk around. So, so ants have a caste system. Okay. So you'll have a queen, but then you do have the soldiers. And the soldiers are Got the it. defenders of the colony. So if you come up on a soldier, I would expect it to attack you because it sees you as a threat. <gasps> yep. Oh, there's another one. It's threatening. One. feels threatened. I feel threatened. Every single colony, every single queen is independent of each other. If a bunch of workers under one queen find a bunch of workers from another queen, that's a competition for resources. And those Ooh. workers will fight each other. And one of those colonies will live and one won't. Hundreds and thousands of ants all attacking each other at the same time. <laughs> it's not a battle that I'd want to get into. No. I think it'd be fun for us to like go through towards the grasslands area. Oh, those are lacewing larvae. So lacewing larvae are actually really, really cool. We actually have a project where we release uh, more than 2 million lacewing larvae with a drone over an agricultural field. You know, imagine 2 million of these running around eating them. Million? Millions of them. You release them in the fields where they are the good bugs that kill the bad bugs. It's just in this case, they think that I'm a bad, bad bug, bug and want to eat me. Oh, they can't Back swim. into the water. That's my strat. That's nah, my strat. Nah, 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 nah. There you go. Okay. Go into okay. that dead grass. There's a bug in there I have a lot of questions about. One of your favorites, huh? Uh, well, Is it one that kills you all the time? Yes. You could say you could follow your nose to find it. You probably could say that ah. if it's a stink bug. Ah. But I don't know if that would be true because stink bugs don't really send out their stink until they're defensive. So they probably wouldn't smell bad until you scare it and it feels threatened. And then, yes, you would smell it. Juice! Oh, there we go. Delicious! What am I being attacked by? Oh, Whatever it is, something's it's coming. Me. Oh, that's definitely gonna smell bad. Yep, it's going after the ant. One of my favorite things in this game is um, baiting some of the bigger bugs that. Did I just get killed by a lawn mite? Uh, you were killed by a mite. That's pretty much the smallest little, not an insect, but arthropod, about as small as it comes. This is embarrassing. I'm supposed <laughs> to be the expert here. <laughs> Well, I'm the one that took your level really, really low, so that's mostly on me. So Ladybug is another one in this game that's not aggressive. And that's typical. You pick them up and you hold them and they're your friends. I'm glad to see that the gamers here, you know, <laughs> turn them into a, a good bug because that's really mm -hmm. what they are in real life. Ladybugs- Oh, that was oh, a oh, spider! Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, la la ladybugs eat aphids, so if we find aphids, we should be in Ladybug territory. Oh, that's good to know. That's actually their main preferred food. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Good run in there. Thank you. I wasn't scared. Did it seem like I was? Because you were I hyperventilating wasn't. just no, a little bit. No, I saw it. No. I saw it. <gasps> wow! Found one. There's one. Oh, nice. Look how cute. Classic the ladybug. The sound that they make is so cute. Yeah. Hey. No, classic ladybug. So, so ladybugs are are beetles. Yes. Right. They're not really bugs. You know, as scientists, really? bugs is a term that we use for things that have a sucking mouth part, like a stink bug. So oh. a ladybird beetle is what we would technically call it. That's actually a very hey. true to life ladybug there. <gasps> that is very cool. Actually, oh, oh see, like, oh. look at this. Always going to stink bug territory. What a, no, I gotta oh, go. there he goes. I know. Yeah, yeah, let's get yeah. away and from that. And they're gonna that. fight each other, and no, no, it's mad at me. Why? You're not gonna watch the fight? No, because it's mad at me and not the ladybug oh, for some okay, reason. Yeah, look let's at run him. Away. Let's He's run very away. mad at me that he's gonna kill that weevil. Okay, I brought you a ladybug, dude. Why are you? <laughs> I did not even look at you funny. Oh! Oh, keep running, keep running. I gotta go. I am poisoned. So how do you decide when you want to fight something versus run away from it? It's really how much health I have. I want to find a bug I haven't seen yet so we could get the card for it because you get cute little cards for each of the bugs that you peep. Because so this is little, the peeper. A little card deck of everything you found in the game? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now if you press uh, right bumper, 
Yeah. So Ooh, now we I have did. the infected lava card. Yeah. So if you look there, you can see all those little spores on top of it. Ugh. So that is what happens. That's how some of these fungi will reproduce. The main fungus is inside the larva itself. And what you see on top there is how it's going to spread itself to other larvae oh, and affect them too. Oh, delicious. So what you're looking at right there is exactly how it works. There's, yeah, different kinds of fungi, different kinds of bacteria. There's also viruses. Uh, there's also nematodes. All of those can actually get inside of an insect and essentially rot it from mm -hmm. the inside. Say nematode? Nematodes, what yeah. What is a nematode? That's the coolest word I've ever heard. Yeah, nematodes. <laughs> so they're these little teeny tiny, can't see with your naked eye, worm-like organisms. And what they do is they get inside the body, that all grow up inside the insect, they make hundreds Ooh. more, and eventually the entire inside of the insect, it just looks like angel hair pasta. It's just thousands and what? thousands and thousands of these little worm-like things, and eventually the insect's body just explodes. It does explode. <laughs> That's so metal. <laughs> and all of the little nematodes crawl around in the soil, and they oh go find God. another bug. This is most common with grubs. Okay. So we've actually done projects in blueberries where we take these nematodes, put it in the irrigation system, yeah. and then through the irrigation system, it releases in the soil where it affects the grubs that are in the soil. That way we can kill millions of grubs simply by putting nematodes in the water. It's actually pretty neat. The visual of exploding with angel hair pasta insides will haunt me. Yeah, and, and forever. It's... I fell into the infected. Oh, there you I go. Oh. I fell. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh. That's it. That's it. Too scary. Too, <laughs> Too scary. scary for you. Too huh? scary. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, this is where we started. Oh, oh my gosh. So, so, so I eventually got us back to the very oh beginning. Oh my gosh, we got back to the beginning. <laughs> back to the beginning. All That's right. That's so funny. I am so glad that I continued playing this after the beta, the full release, because there is just so much more content and story that is available now. I'm very excited. It was fun for me because you know, I'm a scientist, mm -hmm. first and foremost, and you, know, you don't always put video games and science together, but the fact that the game actually uses some scientific names, it has real insects. Everything is real. Uh, it's just a, mind, a small adaptation of the real world. That to me was very impressive to see. This has been incredible and it makes me have a different appreciation for this game, knowing how legitimate it is in the science behind it. I am now in love with wolf spiders. <laughs> it wasn't for me until I learned about the ultimate mother spider. <laughs> I will never touch them again because now I'm, I will forever think about all their kids that they have in the game. And if I kill them, now I'm having, the, hundred orphans? Like, I can't, that's too much guilt on my shoulders. Yeah, you know, in insects have their own personalities <laughs> and, and their own redeeming qualities. So oh. you're glad you're able to find a few of those <laughs> Yes, today. absolutely.